We're here in Scott, Louisiana at the Lions Club for the annual Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame induction class voting. We're going to pick the 2024 Hall of Fame class. There's 40 people in the room. They're made up of board members, past Hall of Famers, mostly Louisiana sports writers that have been in the business for 20 plus more here in the state of Louisiana. It's a heated discussion. It takes about two, three hours to go through the many different rounds. But uh, this Hall of Fame class in 2024 is going to be a pretty good one. There's a 40-member committee uh, that is built by the Louisiana Sports Writers Association, which is the parent organization of the Hall of Fame. Each year, we study uh, a ballot nearly 30 pages long, and we narrow it down to roughly a third of that to go into a meeting room somewhere and vote like you used to see voting in a political convention, round by round. And once somebody passes the, thre the threshold of uh, the point total, there's a weighted system for the voting, then they're in. When I got the email the other day from Doug, it was like, wow, this is all the names they go through. And that's not even half of the names that, that they, everybody else went through because they cut the list down. So it's one of those like, wow, I can't wait for it. It's, it's a very uh, challenging process, even up to the day of the selection. We have a tremendous trove of great sports figures and even the competition to get in this Hall of Fame, while it's not a competition as such, the challenge the voters face each year, there are some astounding people who have not yet been elected because of the depth of great, not good, but great elite sports figures. 